and gentlemen, we present another in the series of air stories of the World War by that ace of all air story writers, George Bruce. George Bruce was a pioneer flyer. He knows flying. He knows the men who represented this country in the air during the World War. His stories are reflections of his own crowded life and the lives of our American flyers in war-torn Europe. We are pleased to announce that Aces Magazine, the pioneer flying story magazine for whom George Bruce writes exclusively, has given us special permission to broadcast these stories. This is the story of two American pursuit pilots, two friends, the giant Ricky King, whose muscled hands could bend an iron bar, the big man who seemed afraid of nothing, and little Mark Bourne, the pint-sized scholar who was afraid of himself and worshipped his big flying mate as a hero. The pair are waiting to make their first solo flights on the training school field. A cadet has just ground looped and been killed in the crash. Mark Bourne is terrified. <laughs> That man was smashed to this. Oh, good God, Ricky. Well, next, you and I. I I'm shaking like a leaf. Come on, half fine. Stiffen your gut. When the inspector calls, just go out there and fly, that's all. Hey, Ricky. Aren't you scared a little bit? <laughs> Certainly not. Why should I be scared? Hey, you have no to let this get on your nerves, kid. Oh, no, no. You're, you're different, Ricky. You can see a thing like this and, and be ice cold. Why, you'll trot out there grinning and cover yourself with glory the first time up. Me, the, the only thing I'm not afraid of is a book, I guess. Oh, forget it, kid. You got the brains, haven't you? Brains are just as good as brawn and sometimes better. Take it easy. I can't, I can't. I, I'm sweating. I, I'll never be able to fly, Richie. I'll, I'll never get that airplane off the ground. My God, the, the instructor's looking at us. We're going to be next. Hey, you. King and Bourne, snap into it now. Climb into those crates and steam. Let's see you do better than the last man or I'll murder you. To get out of your wrecks alive, there better not be another crack up around here this morning. Richie, I... I've never been so frightened all my life. I'll never make it. Come on, half pint. I'll see that you get in your cockpit anyhow. I'm flying with you, ain't I? <laughs> Come on, kid. Get going now. Up with you. Smash up those training ships and you'll be grounded for good. Snap into it. Thank the Lord, that's over. We made it, Richie. I never thought I could get my ship over those trees. <laughs> I have find it easy. I told you you'd do it, didn't I? You made the grade, and we'll go to France okay. You did fine. Well, I, I never would have made it if it hadn't been for you, Ricky. Gosh, I, I watched you climb into your plane, grinning, and I somehow felt you were pulling for me. Oh, you've got guts, Ricky. You're what I always wanted to be. I'd like you to stick with me. I'm glad you feel that way about it, kid. I'll ask the CEO if he won't move you down to my test. We'll fly together, anyhow. Oh, gee, that's great. I... I'll try not to let you down, Richie. You've been a good friend to me. Forget it, half point. I heard we might leave soon for France. <laughs> we'll do some flying there. All right, you new men, you're in France now. Line up over there. You got a job right off. I'm Barlow, leader of Ace Life. You're assigned to me. And that's a flight warming up over there. Better get over and grab a ship. We're taking off in ten minutes. Good Lord, Richie, you're setting us up the first thing. Uh, what's that you said, fella? Oh, uh, I, I was only telling my friend here, uh, well, we're strange here, you know, Captain. We we haven't had a chance to get our bearings. It, it seemed kind of funny going out on duty as soon as we get here. Yeah, you'll find out there isn't anything funny about it. you got to break the ice sometime, and the sooner the better. The only way a pursuit pilot can learn to fly is by flying. What does your friend think? I agree with you, sir. I want to get up. <laughs> I'd like to get a crack at the Germans right away, sir. That's the way to talk. However, if the little fellow feels nervous after the long trip up here, well, I'll mark him off as sick. Oh, no, 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 Captain. Uh, please, I, I've i been looking forward to it. I I want to stick with my friend, only, well, I want to go. Right. Nobody who comes up here and hangs around ever learns to fly. A pursuit pilot only learns after he's been here a month, if he lasts that long. Now, there's your ship. Get to it. Well, have fun. Looks like we're off for the dairies at last. Yeah. Well, here's a ship. Honest, Ricky, you're, you're the bravest man I ever knew. Right. Oh, good heavens, Ricky. That's blood smeared on the cowling there. The blood of the fellow who threw the ship before me. 
And I'm taking his place. <laughs> Don't look at it, kid. Here's my hand, half pint. Oh. Good luck, kid. Lots of it. Oh, thanks, and good luck to you, Richie. You're the best friend I ever had. I'm scared to death right now, but I'll I'll try to stick with you. Good luck. Two Falcons almost had me, sir. Huh? It was queer. It seemed as if the ship suddenly began to fly itself. I I heard my guns going, and, and the Falcons just fell out of sight. Phew, huh? I was scared green. I, I don't know how I got back. Listen, kid, you put up a great scrap. I never saw a prettier piece of flying. You're a natural flyer, son. Oh, no, no. I, I'm afraid it was just plain stupid luck, Captain Barlow. I, I couldn't see a thing. Well, tell me, are the... Uh, are all the men back yet? Oh, no. Jerry's got a couple of us, I'm afraid. Oh, oh well, there's, there's Richie King. There's Richie coming down over there. No, kid. That's not just I'm King, I'm afraid. No? Where is it? He was flying near you, Captain. Hey, tell me. Something happened to him? Something happened to Richie? Isn't he coming back? I'm sorry, Bourne. He, he wasn't killed, was he? Oh, no. No, they couldn't have got Richie. Oh, my God. Richie. Richie was killed, No, huh? kid. Richie wasn't killed. I saw it all. He started to dive with a couple of Jerry's riding his tail. The Jerry's drove him down into their territory and forced him into a landing. I leveled off and saw his ship was all right. A bunch of Germans ran at him just as he climbed out. I'm afraid your pal's been captured, kid. They'll send him to prison. Prison? Yeah. There's a stockade at Sawbrook. That's where most of our boys go. Damn sight better than going down in flames. Oh, yeah, yeah, but a, a prison in the camp. It'll kill him, Captain. It'll be worse than dying for Richie. Oh, this is terrible. You, you see, sir, you didn't know him. There wasn't a man in this outfit as fearless, as, as good a fighter as Richie King. Oh, they, they can't keep him in that prison. Hey, look. Look, I'll go after him. Now, don't go crazy, kid. Your friend no, is... No, no, now listen, Captain, please. Tonight, I'll go after him. I'll fly over the line. I can do it. I'll, I'll find a way. I can get into a German uniform. I can speak some German. I'll, I'll get into that stockade and, and get Richie out of there if it cost him my life to try it. Well, you sure got a nerve, Bourne, but nothing doing. You wouldn't have a chance. Don't be foolish. Your pal's in there to stay, and you might as well forget it. I'm sorry. Oh, who goes there? Over Leutnant Wilhelm Goyner, 11th Yard Staffel. Bearing special order from a prison commandant. A fun fair order. The order, please. For prisoner Leutnant Reggie King, late American 5th Pursuit Squadron, is to be delivered to me for special questioning. Write it for yourself, and do not detain a superior officer longer than necessary, please. Oh. So, you will find the prisoner in billet number seven. So, yeah. Enter here, over lieutenant. The lieutenant, Richie King, will please step forward. Uh, well, what's wanted to me now? Hey, can't you devils ever let a fella sleep? <clears throat> lieutenant King reporting, sir. It's me, Richie. What? For God's sake, don't look surprised. What? And don't talk. There's a sentry right outside. You. The half My God. Yeah, yeah, I've come to save you, Rich. I'll get you out of here right now. Come to save me. My good God, man. Hey, Richie, this is the greatest moment of my life. When I heard you were captured, I, I could have died. But I can get you out of this hell, old man. Look, I swiped the plane. The CEO refused to let me have it, but I took it anyhow. Then the last night I got the chance. When I got over the line, I crashed, and the ship burned in no man's land. But I, I found a dead German officer, and I stole his uniform and papers. And the stuff got by. I, I got away with it, kid. I, I forged an order to get in here, and, well, now I'm going to get you out. God, boy. Come on, man. Wake up, wake up. We can make it. We can walk right out past that sentry. There's a flying field not far from here. We'll we'll steal a fucker and make a run for him. Don't you get it, old man? I'm going to skate. Good God, man. Why did you try this? They'll capture us. Sure, they'll shoot us down like rats. You'll be hung for a spy, and... I'll get it, too. Oh, all the damn Richie, 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 Don't, Richie, Richie, me. You think I'm going to risk my neck on this crazy game with you? We'll have all of Germany after us. Why, of all... Richie, Richie, my God, you're not afraid, afraid? are you? Afraid? Why, you damn little fool, of course I'm afraid. What? You think I want to get murdered in this fool escape? I know when I've licked. I'm not going to risk my neck again. I did my share, and now I'm taking it easy. 
They almost shot me to hell and gone on that fight up there. If you think I'm going to be a target for those square heads again, well, listen, Richie, listen. I got over the line, didn't I? You can't turn me down. Ah, like you it. can go back alone then. I'm not going to risk my life now, and I can do a couple of months in this stockade and get free when the war ends. I'm done with it. See, I'll get out of here before the gods get wise. I'm through with this war. Leave me be and go on, beat it. I'd be a fool. No, no, no. I've been a fool. I thought you were about everything a man should be. Why, hell, I've looked up to you as a kid to a brave ideal. Oh, you and your brave ideals. I know what I'm well off. Now, listen, Richie. I've risked my life to come over here and get you. And now I find you've gone coward after your first taste of real air fighting. And I thought I was yellow. I thought I'd give my skin an attempt to save a real man. Well, by God, there's a fucker waiting to be stolen on that field, and I'm going to make the attempt. I came over here after you, and by God, you're going back with me. You're batty as hell. Leave me alone. Get out. Quiet, quiet. We're both going to walk out of here and pass that guard. We're going to get to that field, and we're going to get that plane. Ah. Now, listen. Listen, you. There's a Luger pistol in my pocket. If you open your mouth, I'll make one sound. I'll let you have it. I'll get you before they do, and I mean it. Come on. We'll go now. <laughs> Get into that after cockpit. They'll discover it as quick, quick. It's our only chance now. Damn you, you got me into this. There comes the guard. I know they're going to chase us. Use that machine gun. Keep them off our chase. Good boy. I'll get you home now. You'll be all right, Richie. You'll be all right now, boy. He's dead. It was my fault, Captain Barlow. I killed him. I murdered him. I saw that fight of yours. You dropped four fuckers behind you. Oh, no, no, no. I murdered him. I had to go after him. I, I got there somehow and brought him back dead. Richie King, my friend, and I got him killed. Put up a great fight, didn't he? Oh, don't take it badly, uh, son. You couldn't help it. Uh, I don't know how you pulled this stunt of yours, but it's the bravest thing I've seen done in this man's war. Your name and his, but they'll go down in history as the greatest fighting names in the air service. Uh, he was a great fighter, Richie was. The bravest of us all. You'll be listed killed in action. And that's a lot better than rotting in a German prison, born. His name and yours will be something for our boy to aim at, I tell you. The finest pair of fighting men this outfit ever had. Uh, Richie was always a fighter, Captain. I, I'd like to do something from now on, if you'll let me. I'd like to fly King's assignments as well as my own. You see, i got to figure out a way of taking his place. I owe it to him. We hope you have enjoyed this dramatized story of George Bruce as much as we have in presenting it. Every month, there is a feature story in Ace's magazine by this great flying air story writer, and your news dealer will be happy to supply you.